second brain or enteric nervous system in our very own body is known to be the gut. 80% of your immune system lies in your gut. Trillions of bacteria have been living in and around us. Trillions even reside in our eyes, mouth, gut, lungs and urogenital system, skin. When I say skin, one of the largest organs covering every nook and corner of our very own body. Over millions of years, these bacteria have been living in and on our very own body with a symbiotic relationship, a relationship in which both are benefited. Recent researches have found a link between gut microbiome with obesity, diabetes, leaky gut, irritable bowel syndrome, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, depression, so on and further causing dysbiosis, an ecosystem in which both are not benefited. The reason being, as we have fueled wrong fuel to our very own body, like sugar, refined carbohydrates, lack of sleep, excess consumption of coffee, tea, consumption of alcohol are the by far the reasons for dysbiosis. Hence, to create a healthy ecosystem in our gut, prebiotics and probiotics are by far the building blocks of our gut health. Probiotics are the live organisms or the live bacteria which we consume to fill our gut with good bacteria. Probiotics are just like a seed. Imagine for a moment, you plant a seed and you wait to see the seed grow into plant. After a few months, you see the plant has not grown or the seed has not grown into plant. The reason being, we have not provided the right amount of manure and the water so that it can grow. It is the same way what we are doing with our very own body. As we seed the probiotic in our gut, which is the ground for the probiotics, we tend to give them a right manure. And the right manure is prebiotics. Prebiotics are the non-digestible fibers, which produces short-chain fatty acids, neurotransmitters and hormone. Short-chain fatty acids have three, three important components, that is, Acetic acid, which helps to promote our muscle health, and propionic acid, which helps us to keep in check the response of insulin to our muscles, and butyric acid, which helps as an anti inflammatory and keeps immune system and diabetes in check. Now, often in India, we see when we visit to a hotel, they serve us a plate full of onions and lemons. Now, the reason being, they serve it before the main course so that they can kickstart your good bacteria in the gut. Some of the rich sources of prebiotics are onion, raw garlic, banana, nuts such as cashew and pista. The good source of probiotics are pickle, curd and buttermilk. Often we tend to focus more on probiotics than prebiotics. Make sure you take the right amount of probiotics as well as prebiotics to create a healthy ecosystem and have a symbiotic relationship with your gut and create a healthy gut.